Okay, welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to talk about uh, Python and how you can install Python on your Ubuntu system and uh, what are the differences between Python 2 and Python 3. And finally, we're going to see that how you can uh, basically install pip module on your system. Okay, so, uh, and using pip module, how you can install different packages. So without a further ado, let's start so this is my computer right here let me just show you in fact let, let's not try to show you because this thing is gonna break down anyway so uh without a further ado let's start so uh, now i'll jump right into my laptop and we'll see uh, what we've got to do so first of all um uh, what i'm gonna do that i'm gonna open up a text editor and I'm going to list out the things that we can uh, do and we are going to do today. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to see that how to install Python. Okay, and getting started. Okay, with it. So the second thing that we're going to see is the differences between Python 2 and Python 3. Okay, so the third thing after the second thing is that how to install pip and how to use it okay so these are the three things that we are gonna uh, do and we're gonna focus on today so first of all let's go ahead and let's try to install python um, so first of all obviously as we always do we press ctrl alt t and uh, we open up our terminal i'm gonna zoom in a little bit and then um, we're going to write here uh, a different command, a uh, different set of commands to perform our action. That's what we want. So first of all, um, I'm going to update my repository. So for that, I'm going to type in sudo apt get update. It is going to ask me for the password. I put in the password and it basically updates the, the repository. Okay. So once it is done, now you can install Python. So for example, uh, if you want to install Python 2, then for that you would just write here sudo apt install python and it would install python 2. For example, if you want to install python 3 and in our case we're going to do that, so we write here python 3. So we hit enter and it starts to install it. And you can see that python 3 is already the newest version. So the idea is that uh, the Ubuntu 19.04, it comes already pre-equipped with uh, Python 3, the latest version of Python 3. Okay, so in case if you don't have Python 3 or Python installed on your system altogether, so what you can do is that you can write this command sudo apt install Python 3. So uh, you can say that how would I check if the Python is installed on my system or not? So in that case, what you've got to do is that you would write this command simply. Uh, simply you'd write here Python 3 and you hit and you would hit enter. So if this thing converts into the Python console, um, then Python 3 is obviously installed. So if it doesn't, it would show you some sort of error. And obviously after the error, it would give you uh, something like that you can write sudo apt install Python 3 to install Python 3, okay? So some kind of error like this, okay? So now we can see that we have Python 3. So why not go ahead and let's try to run a few, you know, commands and let's see if python works or not so we're gonna write here print and uh, for python 3 we put in parentheses for python 2 we don't we're gonna discuss it uh, in the differences so we're gonna write here hello world so uh, we hit enter and you can see that it has printed out hello world and uh, in the similar way you can have two variables like a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 and uh, you can simply print out a plus b and you hit enter and you can see that you have got the result 5. So basically python 3 is working and uh, um, if you want to write longer scripts and you want to work with them you can create a separate python file a python script and then you can come into the terminal and then you can run it okay so that's another way to uh, run python the long script so now what we're going to do is that we're going to see the differences between python 2 and python 3 so let's go ahead and uh, the first difference that we're going to discuss is this print difference okay so in python 2 basically uh 
you have something like print and then you don't have to put any parentheses and this thing works okay so this is for python 2 okay so i'm going to write here python 2 and for python 3 basically you you have to put in uh, the parentheses okay so inside the double quotes you write the same thing but there is an addition of uh, parentheses so this is basically uh, python 3 okay so that is the one the number one difference that we have the second difference that we're going to talk about today is that whenever you are dividing two integers okay so for example in this case we are dividing three by two so uh, when we are dividing three by two the idea is that um it is the answer it is going to provide us with is one okay instead of 1.5 so uh, one is the answer that it would provide us in the case of python 2 and in case of python 3 it is actually going to provide us the answer as 3 uh, 1.5 okay so yes that is the answer so the idea is that in python 2 the output is going to be in integer so integer cannot be in point okay point decimal number so that's why it has basically restricted uh, 1.5 to 1 all right but in python 3 you have the option to have the output uh, as a float okay so uh, you have that float number on the output so that is the second difference between uh, python 2 and python 3 the third difference is basically uh, related to the local and global variables so in python 2 you cannot actually use same global and local variable i'm going to show you how so for example uh, if you have an i variable as one which is initialized and then you have a for loop in which you again initialize i uh, variable and uh, you put in a condition you increment it and obviously after for loop you have some sort of body and inside uh, this body you have some sort of code so the idea is that um, this thing right here it doesn't work in python 3 uh, python 2 excuse me okay so in python 2 it is not possible so i'm gonna write here not possible in python 2.x okay so you have initialized a global variable i and when you try to initialize it as a local variable inside the for loop uh, just you obviously you're just going to use it inside the for loop it is not going to used outside the for loop but still python 2 will not allow you to do this uh, whereas in python 3 you are allowed to do this okay so that's uh, the second uh, th that's the third difference actually uh, between python 2 and python 3 so let me just copy paste it and i'm gonna write here uh, let me just scroll it here so possible in python 3 okay so that's how uh, basically you do work with python 2 and python 3 keeping um, in the mind the differences so that is the third major difference that we have so the fourth difference and the last difference is about unicode string uh, storage okay so the idea is that uh, when you're working with the python 2.x um, you have to in order to do the unicode string storage you have to uh, write something like this double quotes and inside those double quotes you're going to write u so it represents that uh, the uh, string storage is going to be unicode so in python 3 you do not have to write this u in the double quotes uh, you can just go directly for the unicode string storage and it would automatically recognize it as unicode string storage okay so i hope you have got the point you have got all four points that we have discussed from here so now let's move on to the next thing that we're going to do is that how we can install pip and how we can use it okay so for that we'd go back to our terminal i'm going to press ctrl z to come out of the python console i'm going to clear and now i would write here sudo app install python uh, and then hyphen and then pip okay 
so i would hit enter and uh, in my case in my system python pip is already installed so it has not taken a lot of time but when you would be installing it would take uh, plenty of time so it would it is going to ask you do you want to continue so you have to press y or n y for yes and no for no and you press y you continue it and then it would take a lot plenty of time it would install first it would download it and then it would install it okay so now let's try to install some sort of python pip packages okay so we write here pip and then we write here install and then we write here bar so we hit enter and you can see that it would start to install the bar package okay so you can see it says requirement already satisfied i already have it inside my python so you um when you'll be installing for the first time it would probably not give you this kind of output okay so i clear it and let's try to in, in install another package pip install map lot live okay so we hit enter and it starts to install it and uh, you can see that we have successfully installed downloaded and installed matplotlib another package using pip okay so that's it from this video i hope you have enjoyed it you have learned something new these are the three main fundamental things that we have done today first that we have installed python and we have run a python a small program in the python console and if you want to run big scripts you can create another file and then you can run uh, using terminal okay you can run those script using terminal the second thing is that we have seen the differences the four differences that we have done um you can go back and watch the video again if you haven't understood any and the third thing that we have done is that we have installed pip module and then we have installed different packages using pip okay so that's it from this video i hope you have enjoyed it you have learned something new for written articles keep visiting our website linuxhint.com and i will see you in the next video.